day everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Sri here and uh, I'm from DHS Hospitality Academy. So today I'm going to talk about, uh, my title is Asset Make Things Possible, but Good Women Capital Make Things Happen. I think this is a, a very uh, crucial time that we have to understand that human capital uh, is something that is very uh, valuable to all industries and we also see that many companies are laying down uh, individuals from their company. So uh, before I move into my presentation, uh, I would like to bring forward that uh, I'm the founder and also the CEO of uh, DHS Hospitality Academy, where I've spent about 32 years in the hospitality industry, uh, started as a training manager in resource world, uh, and my last position as a group director source of training with best Western hotels. So we hear about MCO, EMCO, CMCO, RMCO, okay, and uh, all this lockdown. So for me, I would advise that this is a golden opportunity to revisit our personal goals and also our company goals, mission, and vision, formulate new policies, products, market plans, the resources and strategize the implementation when the upswing comes and right on this press. So this is a time where we should reflect and we should ask ourselves uh, what we want to do and how we want to go about it. Okay. So we first we go into the hospitality industry and also industry players. So the biggest problem or the biggest challenge is this industry is misinformed. Many people don't know about this industry. They always think that this industry is for individuals who have failed their five, don't do well in studies. Uh, they are the ones who should get into the industry. Okay? And many Malaysian youth, uh, or I would say even when I was working in the Maldives, and when I was in Singapore, many uh, youths don't take this uh, industry as a career. They don't seek it as a career because they feel that uh, if you're not good in studies, then you're going to do hospitality, which is also wrong. Uh, from my experience, when we visited schools, uh, we see that when we go and tell them that we are here to talk about hospitality industry, the first reaction that the counseling teachers will always come to us and say, uh, please visit the last class, which I feel it is wrong. And this is where the, the industry that we are in, uh, the industry players, the stakeholders, and also uh, related and relevant associations, which have not really played a role to inform uh, what the hospitality industry can offer. Okay, and the third one is the programs offered that are mismatched. Today you see many colleges, many universities, many university colleges, uh, institutes and academy which award uh, this certificate, diploma, degree, even masters and uh, postgraduate programs in hospitality. We have to also understand that when these uh, programs are being offered, uh, it is good to engage with the industry. It's good to engage with the stakeholders. It's good to engage with the association to find out where is the lack of uh, talent that you have. Because there's no point somebody goes through the education. Then when they come to the end of the education or between the education, they think that this is not the industry that they want to be in. So this is the big, biggest challenge that we face, or the industry face, uh, and this is where the, these stakeholders, uh, associations, hotel companies, uh, hospitality organizations, should be part and parcel of the implementation of new programs for the hospitality industry. So as we say that assets make things possible, but good human capital make things happen. So if business is not listening to the youth, 
they are not listening to the future com competitors, or employees, or customers. Today, we have to understand that the youth are the ones that are eventually going to work. So what are their interests? What are their uh, needs? Do, how do they perceive this industry? So today we have education fair. We have a lot of education fairs going around. We see people are uh, getting into hospitality programs. Uh, Counselors are counseling them. But what are the information that they are providing to them? So what is the rate of uh, students getting into the program? And also, what is the rate of students not being employed in the industry? Okay. So how does the hospitality industry help youths and graduates? Today, youths get into the program. Graduates complete the program. And if you take 10 graduates to complete a hospitality diploma or degree program, only one or two will stay and work in the industry. The rest of them will go into working in some other industry not associated to what they have studied. This is because while they enroll into the program, what was told to them, and when they go out for the attachment, they see that the industry does not, it's not the industry they want. They, they are not given the clear picture, the real picture of the industry. So graduates also who undergo hospitality program do not last six months in the industry. This is a crucial part when you start your work. The first six months is very important. They are not guided into the industry. They are not guided in a proper way. So this is why a lot of graduates, they, they finish the program, they seek for a job in another place. And like what I earlier said, the programs that are offered are always mismatch. Because everyone is running hospitality programs. Everyone is running a culinary program. But Everyone is running a stewarding program, food and beverage program. But how many of us understand if I do this program, what is the career path for me? Where do I start? How do I move the next level? How can I get a job? And how do I further myself into the area that I, I'm keen to join? So the other one is the attrition rate. Attrition rate is something that is very al alarming because uh, when I used to work, we used to see a lot of people resign. They resign even after orientation, they run away. During orientation, they disappear. Uh, they work, some don't last for three months. If you employ 10, the ones who clear the first three months will be two. Okay? So this is something because the biggest mistake that what industry players have done is the human resource department should be a business partner in the organization rather than being a rubber stamp, trying to be the in-house police to find fault, to issue warning letters, and to make employees right. Policies, job descriptions, job specifications should be looked into every year to upgrade yourself in order to reduce the attrition rate. Training and development, this is another challenge. When we meet hotels, when we, meet, when we talk to some of the managers, they always say that when I train, the employees will resign. But they fail to understand that it's better to have trained employees than to have untrained employees. Human beings, you need to keep, keep on training them, making sure that they understand the job, they can meet the expectation of customers, they can meet the expectation of guests, they can meet the ex expectation of the future challenges. Okay? And talent, uh, how you want to get new talents. This is a big challenge. This is where the, the human resource, like when I, I said earlier, is when we are talking about a business partner, they should understand that the organization is looking at what type of customers, where are they 
focusing their customers. What type of talent they need into the industry? And what type of training do, do, should we give them? How can we upgrade the current employees? Looking at their performance appraisal that is done on a yearly basis. These are data that we have to see how we can acquire new talent, how to upgrade our talent. This is an important role. And the fourth one, HR's role as the salesperson in attracting talent. Human resource should play the role as a salesperson, as a PR department within HR. To share, to share success, to seek ideas from the employees. Because the employees are the important assets of the company, and it is an invaluable asset. It's something that you already have in hand. They can help you to seek new ideas because they meet customers. So this is where the, the industry has to change the way that they look at things, the way that they develop things, the way they want to bring forward the organization. So when we look at the earlier three uh, aspects of it from graduates, from the industry, and from the human resource part. We have to understand that tourism is the third largest contributor to Malaysia's GDP. And tourism contributes 41.69 billion to Malaysian economy last year. And there are about 4,826 hotels. So when we have all this, we have so many hotels too. We have Youths that are un unemployed, we have graduates that are unemployed. Why they don't join us? Why are we seeking uh, expertise from foreigners? Okay. Tourism is something that, uh, or hospitality, we have to understand that it has to be an in house grown talent. When we talk about tourism, I mean everyone is involved in tourism. When we talk that our country is promoting tourism, Everyone should be involved. We must know what is courtesy, we must be hospitable, and there is a great uh, sense of job opportunities in this industry. So the hospitality industry and you. So we have to understand that this is one of the large, this is the largest employer in the world. And you, when you work in this industry, you know that you have a job. Okay, we are talking. You can have a job in Malaysia, you can have a job in Singapore, you can have a job in uh, Thailand, you can have a job anywhere around the world. And when you work in this industry, uh, you must be motivated. Motivated in the sense that you must be ready to meet challenges, you must like to meet, you must like to meet people, you must enjoy meeting people, and the other one is communication skills, especially English. Uh, we have understand that working in this industry English is important uh, individuals must know how to speak English they must learn how to speak English and they must learn how to communicate in a professional way knowing a second language is also good especially like now Mandarin uh, it is something that is very important that they have to understand okay. And this in industry also provides global exposure. Global exposure, you can work in any part of the world, and the employability is high. So this is where the youths and graduates have to understand. You can be a hospitality graduate, you can be a graduate from a non-hospitality discipline. This industry accepts you, and you can seek a career in this industry. So how does DHS come in? Uh, before, I mean, I can show you that. We offer a pathway to global hospitality. We have this program. We work with our sister company in Singapore called PSB Academy. And uh, we run a one-year diploma program, online distance learning. It's more of a work-based learning program. And we also have this Malaysian work attachment program where the students come into our program for one month and they go to for seven uh, months of industrial hands-on learning where they are provided with uh, accommodation, duty meals, and they are paid an allowance of 800 Malaysian ringgit. And we also have 
programs. Uh, we call it the Singapore Work Attachment Program. And this program, the student can they study for a month. Then they go to Singapore for 12 months, where the first six months, they, uh, they get an allowance of $500. They do 48 hours uh, of learning, hands-on learning per week. They are provided with accommodation and duty meals. The second six months, they earn about $700. They are provided with accommodation, duty meals, and uh, they're provided with also insurance during the first six months, second six months. And if they do anything more than 48 hours, which is considered overtime, and uh, they are paid accordingly. We also have this graduate employability program. We work with UITM. Uh, basically, we students who have completed their degree uh, program in hospitality or culinary and food service, we send them to Singapore for a two-year management training program where they are provided with insurance, they do 48 hours of work per week, and uh, they are paid uh, Singapore dollar, 2,800 Singapore dollars. Okay. And we also have physically challenged to the industry. These, these are individuals who are physically challenged, like people who are blind, people who are deaf, we train them, and we basically place them in wellness industry, where they learn how to do reflexology, and uh, they earn about 1,005 to 1,008 Malaysian ringgit. And we also offer corporate career programs for individuals who are working in the industry to upgrade themselves. So DHS partnership with you is, uh, DHS basically we focus on work-based learning. And uh, we, we, all our students who come to us for training, our programs are for the duration of one month of learning and seven months of attachment, or they do four months of learning and eight months of attachment. We have our own skill management system, our own learning management system. We have a virtual classroom where students can learn. While you're working, you can also study. And we have our own e-library, uh, and our programs are all assignment-based programs. We don't have any exams. And students who come to us, we guarantee them job placements. We have a lot of jobs. And uh, we also give allowance during their training, minimum of 800 Malaysian ringgit during their hands on work. Okay. And uh, our programs that we offer, we have hospitality programs, we have food and beverage program, we have culinary program, uh, we have front office, we have house, housekeeping, we have high hypermarket, retail, safety and security, aviation, food and beverage, call center operation, fast food, cruise and restaurant operations, hotel operations, wellness, barista and cafe, convention and exhibition management, club operations, golf club operations, theme park, reflexology, treatment care, and employment care. So, if you want to know more about us, and uh, you can visit us at www.thedhsmall.asia. And uh, we take this opportunity to thank you, wish you all the best, and uh, we hope that one day we meet, and uh, you can always call us if you need any uh, help, in the hospitality industry. Thank you.